Ah. Uh, hmm. yeah. So now I know how to go live, eh? Yeah, your life. Local champion. Let me eat my benachin now. Uh -uh. Hey, hey. Hi, 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 everyone. Well, you see, people are watching. Hi, everyone. I'm just um, a newcomer. We are, it's not just me, me and Safi. We are uh, newcomers on Instagram. So basically, my niece was teaching me. She's on the phone teaching me how to do Instagram live. Jesus. I call up my hair. I know some of you that follows us on you need yeah when you there top on um YouTube. I'm not some of you doing it. Oh my god, I just call them melody on YouTube. Dama call us my be. Hey, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. It's my first time on live. Aisha. Bye. Tell Bab because I'm waiting for him. Alright. Okay, bye bye. Um, guys, it's my first time. It's my first time. I'm on your live on um 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 um, um Instagram. Uh, Safi Nekufi, Mangi Sumakir. I'm gonna see Safi later when you have YouTube video. The Makola Sumakal. I know you guys will be like, what? What did you put on your hair? Okay, someone wants to join. I don't know how to do this. Mm. Oh, someone wants to join. Um, you can join in and ask me any question that you wait, you want to ask me. Uh, and let it not be crazy <laughs> questions. Hey, how are you? I'm cool, and you? <laughs> Man, you okay? So my first time on what? Instagram live anyway. So my means my mom. You're looking cute. Uh, then you'll be paid the of our YouTube channel about Musunyo Nyo live directly. So she was basically Hello? the more explained. It's fun. Hmm. Manga ya kabena ti. Where are you from? Um, UK. I live in UK. Okay, I'm from Nigeria, African. Nigeria, really? Oh, can you speak well of? Or you, you only speak English? Yeah, why say? What did you say? I'm not hearing you. I'm from Lagos. Oh, you're from Lagos, so you basically can't speak my local language. I thought you could speak my local language, you know. Okay, can you DM me so we can chat better? I yeah, I can still you. speak. English, if you don't mind. Ask any question, and I will simply answer. Oh my God, your network is really bad. Oh, my cousin is watching. So yeah, hi. Never don't test Facebook Live. Yeah, I'm on Instagram. Okay, bye. No, Uncle Sight. Um. Uncle said, don't want to join. So join on your account. Then I don't test Instagram live. And it, it, it worked, you know. <laughs> Usman, hey, Ajis. Oh, Usman, come and join me. Come and join me. Let's have a chat. I like my questions. You're more, you're more going to like. Yep. It's my first day at like, the Instagram live. Anyway, it's my, it's my niece. Mama, mama don't want to call Oh, I'm not married. Someone asked me a question and said, am I married? No, I'm not married. Safi is married and with kids. Man, I'm not married. So, uh, basically, see YouTube channel, be Nyunyada. Man, at Safi. But she's married with kids, but I'm, I'm not married. You can ask questions if you don't want to join. Um, if you want to join too, you can join. And then, man, my Aji, anyways, it's two of us. So, say, person, Natalie, most of the time, Nyunyada, they just, man, my Aji. Uh, can I my Safi? Okay, that's fine. Usman, yeah, you can join in, you know. Send me a request and join in. We can have a chat. The woman can be like, but I'm more about Gambian men. You know, Gambian men are my friends. I love you guys a lot. If you want to join, you can join in. Let's have a chat. I speak different languages. I speak a little bit uh, Mandinka. I speak Wolof. And don't think that because I live in UK, they can all of they can all of us which. So let's have a chat. Ask me any question, and then how are you? I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm good. I'm doing good. I'm eating my benetin called Jollof fries. Are you dating? Mm. Mm. No, I'm not dating. I'm not seeing anyone right now because I don't want to. So I'm good. You can ask any question. Just write it down. If you want to ask question about Safi too. Oh, Nene. Nene, so we're going to join, ma. That's my auntie. Hi, Nene. Nene, I don't test uh, 
Instagram live bi ay sa mama don won nakla di so mo ñew re di le xass ma ben ci nga dama ñaaka job oh my god i love you too mwah, 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 mwah. guys if you want to know more about us you can follow us <laughs> yeah i am 100% sure that i'm not dating anyone i don't have to sit in front of the camera and write like just ask any question i'll try to be honest as much as i can if you, um, if you don't know about me man i'm the honest person i just put this are you pregnant oh my days i'm not pregnant i'm wearing my robe look <laughs> i'm not pregnant <laughs> that that video on youtube oh my god i'm not pregnant thank you nene i'm change my color i dyed my hair i changed my hair color because it's summer nene i'm not pregnant i'm trying to be pregnant though because i'm doing stuff that pregnant ladies that get pregnant do you man get right but it's not working <laughs> Hi everyone. I'm trying to be pregnant. I'm doing that stuff that ladies do to be pregnant or men do to get women impregnated, but it's not working for me. I don't know why. I think my my stomach something is there that is blocking everything. I don't understand it. You are uh, guys, you are invited to join my Benachin. Are you so it's not dating. See, it's my girlfriend. Oh my god, Usman, I love you. <laughs> are you married? I'm not married. I'm single and not dating. I'm not seeing anyone. Uh, it's two of us on our YouTube channel, me and Safi. Um, Safi is married with five kids, but man, I'm not married. Uh, your hair looks nice. Uh, really, I thought the color was too much. I wanted to do some green, 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 but I don't even know. So I'm like, you know what? It happened to be this way. Maybe it was meant to be this way. What are you waiting for uh, for your firstborn? Well, for my firstborn. I think the guy I was seeing, seeing was not man enough to get me pregnant. Um, uh, okay, you can join in. Someone is telling me, oh, okay, a friend of mine is saying he's there, so he can join. Can we know each other? Ask questions if you want to know me. Call me. Usman, Usman, don't my job doing us. Don't be join. Don't my job. One more summer. Usman, this is my color. I changed my hair color. I love it. That is my band. I don't want to play music. Go to his band. My favorite one. Guys, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I go to Gambia. You can subscribe to our channel. You can subscribe on our YouTube channel. And you can follow us on TikTok. You can follow us on Facebook. Um, are you searching? Um, basically, I, be, I body. I'm not searching because um, I decided not to be in a relationship to take a time off. It's nice. You like my color? Oh, nice. Okay, someone wants to join in, I think. I don't even know how this thing works. Guys, someone is joining in, but he speaks Mandinka. So don't laugh, please. Don't laugh. Send me your WhatsApp number. Sweetheart, sorry, I can't send my WhatsApp number. Hi. Hi, Aji. Wow, now I'm I'm fine, and you? I'm okay. It's my first time coming on Instagram live, and it's, it's, it's okay. Because I was a little bit nervous. My niece was showing me how to do it. I, uh, I attended the call back in the 10th. I was a little bit nervous, but it's okay. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. Ah, you're going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. What's your name? What's your name? I'm Mohamed Makalo. Oh, Mohamed? Yes. I'm glad I have a because I have a lot of money. But if I have a lot of money, it is a good thing. I have a lot of money. It's small. Yeah, I have a lot of money. This joint relationship is going to help both of us. You understand? I can learn from you, you can learn from me. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah. That's it. Some of the kachal, I have a lot of money. In 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 Wolof, it's a bit harder in Wolof because I'm I'm more influenced in in Wolof. Yeah, like I told you before earlier, that I can normally I can hear what you are saying in Wolof, but to yeah, you turn it back. That is what you know normally affect me. Mhm. Yeah. So mba blem lale na Wolof mandinka and English we put them together because uh like I can say ninety nine percent of Gambians uh can speak Wolof and mandinka together. Mhm. Yeah. Kofanga yeni nini kala? Kama muna tina, untola yuko tena lomboka mandi kaka ngo ni usuru waka ngo for more. But people need to understand ko untola YouTube channel. What we talk about is huge topics. 
uh, more Definitely. about messages, um, um, life, and things that affect society in general. So we we are we we are in a very in big um, world, especially YouTube. It's a very big world. We want to target our international subscribers too. So we don't want it to be based as Gambian thing. So because of that, we have English speak. Near you come someone because some, the person that first joined here, he said he's from Nigeria and he's following us. And don't. Yeah, so Gambia is a, it's a small country. So we have to target more of international viewers and people from other um, communities so that they can be watching our videos. If we do only Mandika and all of it, it stays uh, within the Gambian society. It's not going to go beyond that. Yeah, you are right about that. You are right. Because like yesterday uh, on Instagram, I was just watching uh, Nigerian website where it's like, it's a hookup. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. But in, in a days like this, if a Gambian lady want to come out mm -hmm. and tell people that I'm looking for a man who want to marry me, mm -hmm. people are going to say that, that thing has a very big thing. You mm -hmm. understand? And that's quality. Because Kunu, mm -hmm. about Instagram, like, Nigerian Muso, I've been on Kala, kala decide and he sees in need of a man. You yeah. understand? Now, I have quality less. So mm -hmm. now, he's asking any man who come on life. Mm -hmm. yeah, because there are, there are people who mm -hmm. join together. So, mm -hmm. Nina, like, she asks you a question. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. she gives mm -hmm. chance to another guy. But mm -hmm. a day like this, if you want to do that thing to Gambians, or a Gambian lady want to do that, yeah. Yeah, people will say that you have to that is the problem with our Gambian society. And yeah. most of the time, what we talk about on our YouTube channel. And this is why many men follow us because straight to the point. Well, now one of our videos now follow it's okay for a woman to ask a guy out. Come Absolutely. Uh, you see things that you like about that woman. She gets attracted to the to the to the man. I get attracted. I like So YouTube. I after, I'm not friend also to friend on me. I'm not careful. I'm not calm. Can help be the table. My demand is good. I'm just good. What happened? I'm not calm. Yeah, I'm not funny. Why your man? How many of my own Jacob? No, you try young all this good. I'm not calm. What is so <laughs> yeah? What is so freaking wrong with me seeing a guy and getting attracted to the guy? This is what the problem it, it is. If I example today, if I had seen a guy that couldn't marry me and I married the guy, the society would belong to you. Uh, we took everything to be as a taboo. Every freaking thing is a taboo. And our YouTube channel is one of those channels that we come out to break those taboos. In Gambia, you don't talk about sex. You don't talk about sex in public. Even a married woman, you tell the married woman the word sex. It's like you're, you're freaking scaring her. And it's something Absolutely. that a married woman does every day, having sex in their bedroom. In Gambia, Mohammed, you see when us women get pregnant, we tend to hide the pregnancy. We decide to go up. We are side to, to, to go to the market. We are side to sit down on the verandas and talk because we, the reason why we are side of the pregnancy is because we don't want people to look at us and think, oh, all this why she's been having sex. Yeah. But come on, you're married. It's obvious. It's, it's part of your duty to have sex with your husband. So why is sex, um, the name of our YouTube channel is Adi's Corner. Uh, it's the same name as the Facebook page. Oh, sorry, the Instagram page. So you see, me and Safi, we, 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 we live in UK. Let me tell you something, Mohammed. If we, ha we were in Gambia, we wouldn't do a YouTube channel like this. Never, never. Family wouldn't let us. Friends wouldn't let us. And the, the thing people love about us is, is being natural. We don't care if we have makeup on. We don't care if we, especially people like me. I just wear my shorts. I wear, and some people will be like, I have many fans asking me to wear bikinis and come to the asset. Yeah, if I go spa or somewhere that is necessary for me to wear a bikini, I'm not scared. I always tell people, you're not paying my rent. You're not feeding me. I need my life for me. I don't have to be leaning on, on people to make me happy. You know the problem with Gambia, we control each other's life, which is really bad. 
I want you to live your life the way I want you to live your life. It's like me telling you, Mohammed, you should be living your life like this. You should be living your life. It's really bad. That's the, that's the problem. Right. You should live and let other people live. Let live and let live. But sometimes people don't understand that. In Europe here, I don't care. I sit there sometimes. Sometimes people think that we, we attack Gambian men. No, it's not that we attack Gambian men. I always tell people, I was married for four years. And it's hard for a woman to be married, a divorcee, to come out and say, okay, I was married, I face the camera. In Gambia, they judge you. In Gambia, they say, you see Gambia, from, let me say it in all of So again, I was there, you take the four decades. Like, did you see how uh, one of our videos, Stranger in, in My Marriage, it was, a real true story in my marriage. I came out and said the marriage. And said what happened. And do you know something, Mohammed? My ex-husband is a friend of mine, a very close friend of mine on Facebook. When I did the video, I tapped him for him to see, for just to let people know that the story was true. And um, my co-host, Safi, she did when she was homeless. And her ex-husband didn't help her. And if you look at the story, you know that we are not scared. To, a Gambia will come out even to talk about to talk to us to talk about their story. They'll be like, "Oh, one of my friends went through this. I want you guys to talk about it." No, hell no. You see me? I'm not judgmental, Mohammed. I listen to your stories. Do you know how many stories we hear? And each time we do those videos on our YouTube channel, people will come and say, "Man, video began the the next the message is some baba because Lola go through some say you." It's like we live in a society whereby they put zips in our mouth. You don't have to say it. You don't have to talk to your husband. It's a taboo. And we have many men coming out and telling us that, oh, our women are not attacking us on the bed, meaning their women are not raping us then, meaning their, their women are not the one to do the uh, false sexual move. I'm like, why is it that if your woman is doing that? Your youngest girl began before 18 years, 15 years. Sometimes I don't understand some women. It's not a taboo for you to touch your husband for the first time. You see, these are the things that we want to come out and break. We want to talk about sex freely. We want to tell everyone that sex is okay, it's fun. Mohammed, what is so sweet uh, than talking about sex freely? Each time you talk about sex, it's like a message sent to your body, you are happy and all of that. But Gambians don't want that. Sometimes we talk about Gambian men. You see, one of my videos that I did, I saw it on uh, What's on Gambia yesterday. And I saw a Gambian comedian took the video and added Comedy. It's where I was saying Gambian, Gori Gambian, is when they say. They yeah, say, I, I, I'm, having, I'm having the video itself. Yeah, that video. You know that video? It's one of our hottest videos right now because the video went everywhere. Because what I said on the video was the perfect truth about how Gambian men get married to us. And sometimes when we do videos about Gambian men, we want you guys to fix what we are talking about. And when we do videos about Gambian women, we don't exclude ourselves. If you listen to our videos very, very carefully, we also say, Nyun Jige Ni Gambia. We always say, Jige Ni Gambia. Nyun Jige Ni Gambia. Mama, I've done mistakes in my marriage. Uh, Safi has done mistakes in her marriage. And if you see the video we did, um, things that we change about each other. I've changed a lot about Safi. And she changed a lot about me. How did we change each other? Is because we spoke about it. We spoke about things all, okay, let's fix it like this. Let's do it. We, if we come as a group, as Gambians, we will make it. And Gambia, we will always say, let's support our own. Let's support our own. Do you know how many people, how many messages we get from people talking about our YouTube channel? It's, it's just amazing. And, 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 and recently, I saw that video that you said you have it. I saw the video trending on, on TikTok. I was like, oh my God, that's my voice on TikTok. Oh my God, that's so sweet. Yeah, that's yeah. That's yeah. what our YouTube channel is about. Yeah, because uh, the very first time I saw your, uh, your, your video on YouTube, I was well interested, you understand? Mm -hmm. So I see that togetherness, we can you know, eradicate that kind of you know, mindset within ourselves, you know, our brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. when we come together. Mm -hmm. Because you know, last time I had uh, a similar story. Yeah. A young Daniel lady who was in marriage and later got divorced mm -hmm. with his husband, mm -hmm. she told me 
see inbox me because I was very good in this when I was in my community. Normally, I talk to people about the, how they should you know treat their mind. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't fear anything when you are in a relationship or when you are in a marriage mm -hmm. because when you are in a marriage, it's, it's not something that is illegal. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Because so this lady told me mm -hmm. the husband will just come to her without yeah. even no, no romance, no nothing, yeah. just like a dog, a donkey. Mm -hmm. Lie down. I want to have sex with you. Yes. I said, "Are you a slave?" Mm -hmm. That's that's undone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need to create fun before we have sex. Mm -hmm. You need to call her attention to you, and she also need to call your attention to her. Mm -hmm. Both the mind and the soul need to be coordinating that movement. Mm -hmm. Not just wake up and just you know say that oh she's my wife, mm -hmm. she's a slave or whatever. No, even the Islam doesn't say that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Said you have to be romantic to your family, your wife. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, you know, particularly we means we have, you know, we are the cause of, you know, ninety-five percent of Gambians' problem. Yes, yes. And that need to be stopped. Mm -hmm. That need to be stopped. How how can it be stopped by coming together, sending message, mm -hmm. trying to educate our young ladies mm -hmm. down there, mm -hmm. you know, and trying to, you know, free the mind of the men also who are having that arrogant mindset. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I when I look into this marriage issue, I see that you know most of our women are dying spiritually, yeah. emotionally, mm -hmm. are dying, mm -hmm. but they don't want to voice it out. Yes, mm -hmm. they are scared. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Particularly, the parents also have a role to play in yes. this. Yes, because I cannot be a lady. I'm facing something, and I come to you. You as my parents, I tell you. You tell me that go back there. Mm -hmm. You have to be in it. Munya. But you don't know what is going on. We say in wall of Munya. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But you really don't know where I'm going. Mm -hmm. A man would, you know, take, beat you mercilessly anyhow, mm -hmm. anywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You like, when you when you injured, you wouldn't even care about your medical you know, bills. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm, wearing, that I'm, wearing, I'm wearing a robe, so I'm feeling that it's really hot. <laughs> so oh, no, it's okay. Yeah, I'm trying it's to okay. get a vest instead. Yeah. Yeah, you can go ahead. I'll hear you. So, you know, Nigel code like, it's very, very necessary, you know, as a Gambian man and as a young, you know, uh, people like us. Mm -hmm. We live like a friends. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. A man's wife needs to be his friend, and a man, a lady's husband needs to be your friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you know, a society we are living because mm -hmm. you just try to voice your, you know, your mind that you feel, you know, emotion for someone, mm -hmm. and someone try to judge you through that. That is wrong. Yeah. That's wrong. Mm -hmm. What, what, you know, this is, these are things that need to Yeah, sometimes we, we want to be very religious and why we don't know nothing about religious. Thank you very much. Yes. You understand what I mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. The wife of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Khadija, mm -hmm. pro she proposed to Prophet Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. An example of from that man, mm -hmm. a noble man, mm -hmm. a man who, who is very romantic to his family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A red one party is when you know you know all all of his wife want to know who among them he loved. Mm -hmm. So what was his response to them? He asked he asked them that whenever I'm spending a night with any of you, mm -hmm. if you put my ring to anyone's hands, mm -hmm. she is the one I love most. Mm -hmm. and, and, and and the hadith said every night any woman she is he's having you know a particular night with, he put his ring to all of them. Mm -hmm. And but and that then all these ladies start to say that oh I'm the love of his life I'm the love of his life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. So we have a means oh, and we as a society we need to stop that kind of mindset. Mm -hmm. Every ladies have a feeling and they have to express that feeling. Mm -hmm. You understand? Their mm -hmm. feeling has to be in your heart and be respected. That is their opinion. Mm -hmm. We should respect their opinions. Mm -hmm. But I shouldn't just judge your opinion based on my own opinion. That's wrong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It will never move us anywhere. And this is why Gambians, if you see, particularly on this social media, when you are talking about something sensitive, some people will just come and say nonsense words and try to insult you. Mohammed, but that will never move us back. Continue, yeah? Yeah. You see Gambia, like I said, I can speak more in Wolof. You see Gambia, 
even topics like we do on our YouTube channel. If you come out and say it and you are not strong, then they are dumb as a laughing. You know, like yeah. if, if, if they try to break you and they try to knock you bad for you to go back to yourself to tell you that you're, you're too small to talk about this and this is not meant to be talked about and this is something that no one would talk about and we would allow you to come out and talk. That's why on our videos, if you look at me, you look at Safi, you will know that we are bold. We are not those kind of, we are full of confidence. We are not those kind of women that anyone will come and knock you down. We even like, there are a few times, we, we do our live shows on the Enter the Gambia on Facebook. There are a few times that uh, even men will try to come out and bully us. And I always tell people, man, can do my bully. Balanga ma bully, ma kegan de ma bully. You see, my life is mine. If I feel like putting my camera on and talk about sex, then I'll talk about sex. What I'm not going to do is talk about sex to the point that I'm explaining it to the, to the people like, uh, like a porn star. That I'm not going to do because I'm a woman. I, I, I should respect myself. But to tell people that, talking about sex, Mohammed, do you know how many of us women are doing mistakes in our matrimonial houses? How many of us are doing mistakes in our matrimonial beds? You see that video I did about Gambian men talking about how stressed we women are in our beds. Do you know how many women are in, uh, in Gambia that are not sexually satisfied by their husbands? Because they don't know that we women, some of us, we have different sex drives. Some of us, with one round, <laughs> thank you, who are you? They tell you that you keep the great job always. I just, yeah, thank you, yeah. Like people like uh, Usman, he's been following us uh, for ages now. Our channel has been six months, our YouTube channel. But Mohammed, I'm telling you, it's been doing so many, uh, so many great jobs, Mohammed. I, I know women that will come to me. I told women, I said, it's okay to talk to me. It's okay to talk to Safi. We are not those kind of people that will go out and say, oh, this person said this to us. No, because we have our secrets and take. That's why we bring our secrets out for people to know that if we can talk about this, you can talk to us about it because there is nothing more to hide. I saw a lady called Aramata. She's following us here on Instagram. I saw her uh, put our Instagram up. She has more followers than us. I saw her. She said to women or men out there, follow these people on YouTube. Uh, from all of a sudden, I saw her talk to me and I was trying to follow her because um, then I had too many followers, people that are followed on Instagram. These are the people that are seeing what we are doing. And in our YouTube channel, we don't just come out and start cussing people, attacking people. No. If you watch me there, you think I'm the craziest person on earth. Because we bring humor. We entertain people. I will make you laugh, but yet still make you digest the truth while you are laughing. Because I'm yeah. talking about, if you watch, watch the unromantic Gambian uh, uh, men we did, or the unroma unromantic Gambian women, when I did that video, I told my fellow women that I, I was married for four years, Mohammed, four years. Could you imagine the four years I was married? I never knew that women do have orgasm. You see, oh, how, it, how that's, that's, that's the point I want to tell you. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's the area I want to elaborate because there was a lady who just, you know, talked to me about these things that mm -hmm. she, she was in a marriage. Yeah. But after the marriage, she realized a lot of many things that she doesn't learn in the marriage. Exactly. And we, the men, we don't want to teach them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If we don't, we don't want to teach them, and this is how it has to learn, this is how it has to be. Mm -hmm. You know, if you, if you talk about Gambian men, yeah. we, we, we are disgusting. Yeah. We are disgusting in many ways com com compared to love and, you know, relationship status. Mm -hmm. We are disgusting. No, I think, no, it's not about disgusting. I think... Um, uh, like you said, it's from our parents, it's from our ancestors. It, 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 we, we, we follow the trend, like it's not good, we shouldn't be doing it, it's not good, we shouldn't be doing it. Um, what I said on the unromantic Gambian woman is, if you don't even understand and the unromantic Gambian man, there's nothing wrong with being married and take a video camera or a video in your bedroom and have it there to show your woman. Because most of the time, Mohammed, when we get married, we get married as virgins. And even if we are not virgins, it's just like, oh, you've been seeing one boyfriend and the boyfriend said, I want to yeah. be, and you give yourself to that boyfriend. So you've not got that experience. And in Gambia, we hardly even watch porn. We hardly even watch. I'm not say, telling anyone, go be, a, 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 go be an addict to porn. But you need to know what sex is all about. Me, I said it on that video. When I was married, I used to lie at one place, Mohammed. I'm saying it for... <laughs> don't, don't make me laugh. Yeah. When I was married, I 
I said, um, I saw we're just talking randomly uh, about our YouTube channel. Uh, that's my niece. She supports us, Mohammed. She opened the, the Instagram for us. Uh, my mom and my, me and her mom are from the same mom and dad. So, Mohammed, I'm just <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, dad. I'm like <laughs> history preach. So, Mohammed, what I was saying is, as a kid, I got married uh, when I was um, 22, 23, going to 22. And when I was married as a kid, all I do is when my husband is having, trying to have sex with me, he didn't know much as he was two years older than me. What I was doing is just basically go in my matrimonial bed when it's time to sex. I would just do like, you know, I speak Aku very good. I would just do like, I leave my case to God like a soldier doing his parade. It's when, yeah. the, when my ex-husband is on top of me, chaka, 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 and my ex-husband is gone, down and he's gone. I thought sex was okay. So one time he himself, he said to me, this is why we men cheat. And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, all you do is just lie there, like you're praying to God. And all I do is, even Mohammed, let me tell you, even to romance my husband or to put my husband as sensitive, I don't even know that there were sensitive places on his body that like his nipples and stuff that I can touch and he would feel good about it. I thought my sex is just like opening my legs and he's gone, I'm done. And I said it on that video, I've never, I never liked sex. <laughs> what are you talking about? How do you, uh, you see our fans are coming out? Yeah, like, like. Mohammed, yeah. I was, I, I, then I hated sex. I hated sex so much. If you listen to that video on Romantic Gambian Woman, I hated sex so much. My ex husband would say, Aji, let's go to bed. I would say, No, my stomach is hurting me. Um, today I have a headache. I, I would start giving excuses of reasons why I don't want to go to bed. And I'll, I'll sit in the sitting room watching endless movies, Mohammed, because I don't want to go to bed. And he will start touching me because I don't enjoy it. I've, like one of said, damn, I've never reached orgasm. And I don't know. So imagine being married for four years. At the end of the last year of my marriage, it's when I started knowing the women come. I was like, oh my God, this thing is so sweet. Then I started having sex. In fact, I was the rapist in the house. Before my husband said, let's go to bed, I would say, ah. Let's go to bed. You see, like, this are the... Eh, Mohammed, I'm telling you, it's not only me. Some women are married for 15 years, 20-something years. Some women did, got married until to the point that they died. They never knew about orgasm. So why is it that we, excuse me, we don't come out and tell women that this is what is happening? And I said it on one of... <laughs> yeah, like, like I told you, yeah. There are so many. There are so many factors, you know, that is affecting our ladies, and you know, and these factors start from the parental level. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. If we see, if we see presently in the Gambia, mm -hmm. there are a lot more of these rape cases. You understand? Usman, sorry, Mohammed. Usman, yeah, like you guys. Sometimes, like Usman, he's one of our fans. Let me tell you, Mohammed, this guy. Every yeah. I want you guys to do more. Usman, uh, Mohammed, like, I went to a point that whereby a man handled me. Like, when I say a man handled me, Mohammed, a man romanced me. Romanced me to the point that I think I was in, in heaven or I was in the clouds. So I'm asking myself, why is it that our Gambian men don't do this to me? So I said to, to myself, nah, I need to talk to my Gambian brothers. You know, when a guy romances you to the point that you are lost in the clouds, so why is it that my Gambian brothers can't do that to me? Why is it that our, my Gambian sisters cannot do that to Gambian men? On the, on the way, Mohammed, I learned a lot. I learned how to make a guy, like I always say on our videos, I can make a guy fall in love with me. And if you look at it, I do more of the videos alone because I want people to learn. Some men are only, only care about their self coming here. And Mohammed, I don't understand sometimes when men come, they, they just shift from their wives or they just leave you alone and then they're there. Even when you touch them, they are there. Today, I told, I told a friend of mine, he's a male friend in Gambia, I said, men don't even know just a kiss on the forehead. If a guy kiss a woman on the forehead, it's a message that's sent from your head down to, down to your toe. Men don't even know that. Like, mama, our Gambian men, they lack so much behind because they, they, they it's from our and yeah, 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 yeah
uh, like he's my elder elder brother my brother supports me so much on our youtube channel yesterday he called me and said we do videos on friday so we normally we do a lot of video videos and i do the editing and stuff and send it there most of the videos we don't do editing we bring them raw because we want people to know you see uh, last week we did a video about how, why gambian women don't suck their men uh, the, 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 the men's dick you know how we got to talk about that topic i went to visit a gambian guy a friend of mine asking me out and picked me up from my house and took me to the guy and the gambian guy said to me aji this is why i like men talking to us the gambian guy looked at me and said aji i said yes he said you always talk about how gambian men are doing this or how gambian women are doing this aji i want you to tell gambian women to be romancing their husband or their boyfriend and he looked at me and said aji do you know that the gambian women that are dated when i have sex with, with with them once they run to the toilet and clean themselves and come and lie on the bed and if i ask what what, what is happening they will be like oh i'm done See, i couldn't stop laughing and i was like he kept talking to me opening up about things that gambian men don't like and i was like no fine when i did that video safi didn't even know like she said it on our video yesterday she didn't even know that i was, I was posting the video i just put the camera and said safi gori gambia nyoma yo ni de and she was like lu gori gambia wa hati and i was like gori gambia ni ne dige ni gambia din nen dem mo chal and she was like like and now like it's true like the gambian me i know someone that is so close to me mohammed uh, when i talk about sucking dick and how um, the dick head is sensitive this and that she be like Chip! yo so give me you must cut the coil be like yo nigga bugi mo yeah my friends you know god stop yeah god stop yeah. Man, I tell you yeah. me, i'm not scared to freaking sit here here and the camera i always tell people i pay my rent i buy my phone i buy everything so you don't tell me what to talk about and my friend will be like Oh, you say give me motor to sulla bila. You know girls talk and I will hold a bottle or something now. Hey, if you do it like this. Eh? When even the the secret in this like we joke. So you see, Gambian men are complaining that we don't suck their dicks. And Gambian men are complaining that we even when we suck their dick, we we do it like we are marato. And me to you. But, <laughs> but uh, in, that, in that area. There is a question for you. I said thank you. Yeah. You understand. I swear to God, you yeah. There is a big question mark there also in that area. Yeah. And mama, how, many Gambian, how many Gambian men can can lick their women's pussy? How many of them can do that? Thank you. Let me tell you Bahame dear. Yeah? This is my problem. I always say in my videos, you keep it me. When I say something people think that this guy is crazy or this guy does not know what he said. Mama, let me tell you me. I like my Gambian brothers. But uh, the reason why I don't like dating my Gambian brothers is When you tell a Gambian man go down for me say hey man lo dama ko de silo the mentality of a Gambian man they don't understand that we women some women it's a feeling of sotole ila ila in sangoto some yes some your some your your like different parts of your body so that yeah. mentality they have is they think like pounding the woman tak rak 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 na bitch na bitch na bitch na bitch Yeah 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 Adi Mhm Yalla ko min kamu fere na mentality ni in that area is very very low Yeah understand Mama mama madam madam lu like na na, na mentality ni o sadie is very low yeah understand Because ni na da jibe kamben kewol kono Uhhuh Yalla ni aje ni kamben oje ani na jirano na jiran kewol we are totally different and we can never be compared Yes you understand Because Gambia ke okono Gambia ke how many of us are willing to spend maybe like 100,000 100,000 on your wife What? like for two or three weeks like outside of here you understand you come with yeah how many of us are willing to do that there are there are certain things kodo do fam bi ni ko ba spend la muso kundo ba ka mo jel hey what that mon are you crazy that mentality was if onyanta ka bola this is your partner this is your lifetime yes this is this is lady you choose to spend the rest of your life You understand? This is how hi. <laughs> you can't understand. Yeah. And this is the lady who is going to give you the kids that you are, you, you are thinking of or you are dreaming of. Mm -hmm. So spending on her mm -hmm. is nothing but a blessing. Mm -hmm. You understand? And you know improving the love and maturity among you people. Mhm. Mm I do have a Gambian in big hotel all me be how many Gambian means e kelo muso samba hotel for two weeks just to relax. Thank you. Just to relax. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm to, to book that hotel for two weeks or three weeks or one month. for your holidays how many of them are doing it 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Money holiday today. Come they they book a flight to Europe and they yes. leave their wife behind. They come. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know. So and then you know that give. Gambe ke alkono. Gambe ke juma le ke sacrifice. You really have only money musoli. I'm bad little le. Have only money little le. Five release. How many of us are doing? Two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All the blessings we put on the ladies. Gambians men are half. You know. I have a role to play. You understand? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So what I'm saying, I just go. This is the only way for us to come together. I mm-hmm. start to set everything across mm-hmm. because that is a taboo issue. We need to have a Yes. And our parents, our parents also need to be very enlightened and educated. Mm-hmm. You understand? Uh-huh. My parents are not very educated because come and better people do for okay. Today in the Gambia, rape case is there. Yes. Look at all I find that I rape. I now I love you. I explain to our parents only. She have the fear. Yes. He cannot hold it down. Mm-hmm. You understand? That fear need to be out. The mm-hmm. the parents need to be listening. They need to give that listening ears to those people. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. Because no man, those people they will be dying like you know you know uh, something inside that is killing them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. 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 We yes. have everything that is, you know, yes. hygiene and rich. rich. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But what is killing them? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the rural Gambia. You see how women are working and how they are suffering. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They don't even have this kind of knowledge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They are using women like, you know, like a tools. And at the end, they throw them, they go and look for another wife. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. And particularly people, people like we in the Europe, we men in the Europe here, we will leave our wife behind. Mm-hmm. The wife will be suffering, suffer, suffer, suffer. One day we go back, we start to look another second wife. What the hell is that? Are you helping yeah. her or you are killing her? Yeah. Yeah. You are killing her. Uh huh. You are killing her more stress. Uh huh. You understand? Uh huh. This is why our rate, de- death rate in the Gambia, but seventy-five percent of our women die at the age of forty, forty-five, mm-hmm. towards fifty. Mm-hmm. You're not even reach to their potential majority. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why? Mm-hmm. Gambian queens. <laughs> they need to have the freedom of mind. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> when you when you come to like decision making, they say that Muso that decision making gonna tell us you know we will make a decision. Are you not part of the family? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you you are you are an outsider in your own home. You understand? Yeah. We we need to come together because mm-hmm. I come over there. We need to be romantic. Muso bulomota. I find it nice local. Is a phone. It's your wife. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Understand? Mm-hmm. And they need to eradicate that sighting. Kafu ko ngolo tala. Eba muna malula. Malonde. Yeah, mama. You know that's the, the problem here. It's a kemo miya longko. Aye jele. Oh, muso miya longko. Aye jele. Iba ye wulu nyame. Absolutely. I don't understand why you would sit there and say. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, le 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 le. Oh, the other one can't be found. I'm poor. Eh, ni nga takaruma. Go, go. Me me nga ro kundo wala. I have a one story. You understand? I had a girlfriend before before I moved out from Gambia. Yeah. She went. She come to visit me. I go nga lampo fa. Kaya for what reason? Na lampo fa for what reason? Kaya kote you are very funny man. Come on man. Kaya lampo fa. Does it has any use for you or does it it has any importance? Lambo fa nga lambo ba man lambo fa am seen there. Mm-hmm. What use does it has? Bila Aisa Aisa kamara yota na hamna yangi ko di resa like dear like guys yeah. Tell a friend to tell a friend like Safi always says. Send our YouTube channel to all your friends. You guys that are on Instagram, we are new on Instagram. I'm trying to follow people as much as I can because I want Gambians to follow us. For awareness, like mama, I'm telling you, you tell a Gambian guy to even lick, uh, like for example, lick a woman's pussy, they'll be like, huh? Eh? Eh? Like one video, I'm saying it. Why are you so scared? Like eat the freaking pussy, like you, you, you. They gave you a freaking ball of benefits. <laughs> But like you tell a Gambian guy, okay, if you don't go down for me, I'm not gonna come there. Like, hey, do gonna feel it? Some of them like, some are coming over the floor, man. I'm gonna see you. What do you think sex is? Sex is nasty. Sex is disgusting. Sex is meant to be nasty. Why do we have doggy styles? Why do we have uh, 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 this kind of styles and this kind of style and this kind of style? Because sex is meant to be something that is. Uh, yeah, you can even tell a Gambian guy have sex with you. Girl, be pounding you, kuruk. 
kurut kurak and they will come and you will not come <laughs> yeah i love you why uh cham chama you can follow us on our youtube channel you see yeah the great gambian guys even have said i had said you want to delete this video i don't know how to post it you know i'm new on instagram mama if you know how to do it uh, we we can do it i don't know uh, I, i would try i would try i don't know i am done <laughs> like mama Like tell a Gambian guy like uh, I used to date a Gambian guy I said it on one of our videos you know me I'm small I'm very tiny like I'm petite and because of the fact that I am tiny and this guy goes to the gym I tried to explain to the guy like um, I saw the way he was having sex with me kuruk kura throw with me go here and guy throw with me like he was going to box me and there was a time that he even strangled my neck hey I could I did not have anyone to talk about <laughs> yeah I said he, she would try and do it for me. I did not know who to talk to this about. This Gambian guy, the way he was sexing me. Hey, hey, go and judge me. I do have sex. Yes. I'm not a bad you know. I do that thing. If, if if there was certificate, I would have gotten pregnant ages ago. Mama, this guy is sexing me, yeah. He's fighting me like we are in a talk of war in Afghanistan. I have to yeah. the guy yeah. down. Do you know do you know the cause of that? Mama, wait, let me explain to you. I have to sit the guy down where I am sitting that I said to him you know what let's talk about this and one time I was so scared he hurt me you know like let's talk about this the pussy is so sensitive people don't know it. that's why we secret that's why we get wet as women because if you don't get wet even if, if the if the dick is going uh, roughly it hurts us and you see when we get that hurt uh, our our pussies get infections and when we get infections gambian don't like a woman saying that you have infection because when you say that they think you're disgusting or you're nasty when you are the freaking cause of it mommy i had to sit the guy on the table here where i'm sitting i said we need to discuss and he was like about what i said the way you, you we have sex he was like what is it about it i tried to explain to the guy that you know what this is what gives me orgasm this is what you have to do and the roughness you know some some women enjoy roughness sex being rough some don't Uh, for me I, i love it when it goes slow and the next day i'll be walking down the street and i'll be thinking about oh my god that guy handled me so good yesterday the sex was so good and i start smiling of it and i think about oh my god when he touched me with that gambian guy mama there was no spot that i can think about uh, uh, that he, he did this and i can remember because the sex was so rough the sex was going so fast i couldn't understand it when he even said he came i was like huh how when So I had to sit him down and said okay you know what I me mean, I love bringing things on the table we negotiate I said let's negotiate when we have in sex let me go first I do what I have to do this and that, that, that. I said to him I don't come during sex sex don't forgive me agazi I come before sex you but you have to make me come and I explained to this guy how I come and this guy was like hey aji yo linga buga for you amba yo yo linga buga ni na I'm like huh <laughs> and i was like why you only go man mun na ko de i said then why we freaking have sex i said you know what i pay my room i pay my, my, my i i feed myself i said you know what if you're not negotiate you know what get out and he was like what i said it on on on, on our miss couple video safi was there i said to him you know what get out and put take your car keys and leave and he was like but why are you being rude i said because you've been rude gambian men the mentality is they don't listen big no he he, he, he listen he listen He is li- he listen he self it you understand that's, that's my dumb boy dumb boy only what for his interest he is not looking for yours you understand it's, it's being selfish mama i'm telling the guy this is how you make me to feel orgasm to feel you this and that and this gambia me tell me wa aji man munu moko this and that and i said munu loko then why you dating me if you know you know you cannot do it then don't date me leave and he was like i'm being rude i said no so come on tell some bull 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 occupy space bo have some more the buga na jeel space bi yo munu loko bay some more kuko mun munyo bu def ko bul ya ha sa bokan ga ya ha sa morom man i want to feel sex i don't want to be fighting like they they took me to afghanistan or iraq come on yeah you tell them that this is the place we have orgasm or this is where we feel it they they don't listen hey a gambian man who come and do Uh, uh, sex with you buga buga you know gawa balas moya you do pak 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 and they're gone are you fucking kidding me like what are you doing guys please they, they don't listen sorry i'm taking my charger i'm having no but i don't even know where my charger head is like they, it's not only the guys mama it's both men and women yeah 
We don't listen. We don't tend to understand each other. We are selfish. We only think about how we feel in the bedroom. And, and, and Gambian, a Gambian guy would, would just come and, and, and... You see, I said it on one of our, uh, on our videos. And people are like, oh, Aji, you always talk about the wrong that the Gambian men do this and that. I'm not the only one complaining. I have my Gambian friends complaining. I, have, I know many people that are Gambian women that are married. And they will call us. They will cry and tell us that they're not satisfied in bed. Because Gambian men think that they're the only one that feels, uh, uh, feels uh, because they think that we as a woman, we, uh, it's normal, we have sex once and, and we're okay. Do you know how many of us women, uh, especially the ones that are not circumcised, we have a, a very huge sex drive, you know. No, the, the circumcised ones will tell you that I'm not holding. And this is the problem where I get mad at Gambian women. Gambian women will let their men sit on the bed. Uh, yeah, yeah, let me go back to where a Gambian lady called me and said um, uh, and she was complaining so much about her husband. And after complaining, I asked her, I said, can I ask you a question? And she said, yes. I said, when last did you have sex uh, with your husband? And she was like, oh, you know what? It's been a while because I have a one-year-old baby. So I've been busy taking care of my baby and my husband and the house and the this and that. I looked at the girl and said, all this problem that you are going to is because... You've not been having sex. Mama, do you know that when you have sex, it releases the happy hormones. You get happy. Sex makes you happy. Sex makes you free. Sex makes you live uh, uh, like, a, like a new person. So I asked her, and she was so young. She's a teacher, and the husband walks in the back. And I asked her, she was telling me this, and I said to her, why is it that you're not having sex with your husband? And she was like, oh, because the husband watches too much football in front of the telly. I said to her, you know what? Um, I'm not going to solve your problem because I'm not going to advise you right now. She said, why? But as you said, anyone can call if they need advice. I said, you know what I want you to do? Do me a favor. She was like, what? I said, you see, tonight, I want you to go have sex with your husband. And she was like, no, Aji, you know what my husband this and that. I said, you know what? What do your husband do after work? She was like, oh, he sits in front of the TV and watch um, how to call it football. I said, you see, yeah? If your husband is watching football and you want his attention and he's not giving it, I said, go make it. Go to the house. 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 Sandy, in that conversation, I was talking about sex, this and that. You see, even talking about sex makes you happy. Talk less of having sex. Then, uh, for summer, tomorrow you can call me and tell me how everything went. Mohammed, imagine. I said this uh, story on Facebook to um, Hadi is watching. She was there. The next day, this lady didn't call me. She never called me. The following day, this lady called me. And I said to her, ah, you didn't call me yesterday. And she was laughing. She was so excited. And I was like, what's happening? She was like, hi. Me and my husband, we did it here yeah, to the point that here. Yeah, Hey, he was even drawing me and say, it's not enough. Come back. Come back here. That's why he didn't hear. I said, how do you feel now? I said, hey, Adi, you know what? Me, I'm going to dress my baby very early today. Um, if, if, even if I have a place, I will take my husband. He said, Adi, yesterday was so good. I said, you see, all the stupidness you were complaining is because you were so mad at your husband. So, you know, we women, hey, Mohammed, we also have issues. When we are mad at our husbands, instead of we go rape our husband, wait until in the middle of the night, when your husband is sleeping, go naked, sit on that dick, ride on that dick like you are a donkey. We don't do that. We will start instead complaining from when we met the husband, what he did to us, this and that, that and that, bringing all anger. You know how many women are just sit there and stress? You see me, I will not stress. As long as the dick is there, it's for me. I will ride that dick. I will suck that dick. I will play with that dick. In fact, if you want, get mad at me. When I'm holy, I will fuck you. Period. I don't care. The dick is mine. This is why I blame women to Muhammad. Most of us, we drive our husbands out to go and cheat. Especially women but, with newly born uh, babies. I said that is grave. Yeah. Especially we the, we the women that uh, born newly born babies. We think that, oh, okay, I'm not dumb, I'm not buying the food. I'm not dumb, I believe in the food. I'm not sex I'm not dumb, I'm not buying the food. I'm not buying the food. This thing, sex is a trend that should go on in, the, in your matrimonial house, no matter what happens. 
kill yourself. And Gambian men and women should make rules in their house. Let's fight. Let's kill each other. Let, let's do everything to each other. But when you are home, I used to satisfy me. And when I'm holy, I, uh, I should satisfy you. But no. How many Gambian women accept the fact that we get holy? We, as long as we are concerned, we don't get holy. We feel like, oh, it's normal. It's not normal. When you're holy, your body is telling you that I need something, you have to give it to me. Then, why is it that your husband is there? You're waiting for your husband to start. Chaka, chuka, chaka. Do you know how many Gambian women go to bed? And they will go like there, like, like Nyombo. Do you know Nyombo? I don't know how they say in, in Mandinka. Nyombo. Like how? So if you know Nyombo in Mandinka, Nyombo. <laughs> okay, my brother. Bob, Bob said sex is amazing. But it's true. Like, we, we, we are scared. We are scared to come out and talk. We are scared for us to, to someone to say, oh, that girl uh, uh, talks about sex. That girl, uh, hey, you know what? If Beyonce comes out and wears uh, G-strings, only G-strings, you see all the Gambian men, Senegalese men, everyone follows Beyonce. If Beyonce had come out, if Beyonce or Rihanna have come you know. out and, and say something, we will listen and even say, but let a Gambian lady come out and talk about sex. They say, hey, Nimbula J, Ki, Ki, Bom, Ki, Mohammed, your community, eh? Me, I'm not a guy. I'm, I'm like from, I'm like from, I told you. I'm from Afghanistan. Me. You're not a Gambian. No, I'm not a Gambian. You know, you know, you know, <laughs> my second nationality. You know what is my second nationality? The problem is Gambian girls are not good in bed. You see? Do, the men are do you know what is my second nationality? <laughs> ah, I, the, I want the men. Okay, fine. All the men um, watching. I want you to comment your problems. And all the girls watching, married or not, I want you guys to say what you think about Gambia men and what you, and then from there we will have an idea of what videos to do when I don't mind her brother. Usman, I love you, Bilal. You know, my second nationality, I'm a Ghanaian. Mm. Yeah. Me, I'm Ghanaian. Half Ghanaian, half Senegalese. <laughs> but like that's a problem, like I said. Musoli Musoli pro also the individual pro also the understanding. So Nina Raji was society cono. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. I will tell you that. If they no, say no, that Gambian girl... Comment. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. It's, it's Jabi, Jabi Abdullah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I saw it. Mm-hmm. Like, if Gambian ladies are not romantic, they are not romantic. Mm-hmm. 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 I will tell you this, Aji. Take a classical example. The percentage mm-hmm. rates that are romantic in Gambia. Some of them mm-hmm. went outside Gambia. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. Or some of them, they to watch these pornography things in the, in the social media. Mm-hmm. You understand? But mm-hmm. the rest that are still, they don't move out. It's only few of them are romantic. The rest are mm-hmm. not romantic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Me, I saw, I, saw, I saw a lady, me That is nasty. That is not mm-hmm. that, that can cause our weakness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So there are that thing This is my girlfriend. And if you at night, late night, twelve from they just come and visit you and they go back without they don't want anybody to see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I call that as a love. The next minute, when yeah, well, know, there are so many problems in the government. You can't just see people need a new conosoro. Come on, you can't attend. Mhm. Yeah, understand. What kind of mm-hmm. evidence do you have? You have mm-hmm. no, no, no evidence because you can't just see late night. Mama, no life, no life. Jang is telling me remain in one one minute forty forty five seconds. Why is he doing that? Uh. uh he didn't understand why is he doing that. I don't know. But, Maybe it's to end the life. I don't know. It says remain in one one minute. I don't know. I don't. You have a mountain life when you understand. Um, there's there's someone that says I should call her. 
let me try calling her. Some of you Gambian women, are you romantic yourself? Yeah, but like, don't say we are not romantic. Um, tell us. And the lady saying that the Gambian men are not romantic. We want to hear more of details, more details, uh, so that we will understand where the problem lies and then uh, your time is done. Oh, okay, there's time for Facebook Live. Me, I don't understand this thing. Hadi, I want you to join. Uh, Hadi, I want you to join our live. I don't know.